Good morning. Um, welcome to take number one at Tilcon Lake, Brighton and District Angling Club. It's a lovely still morning. I'm just going to be fishing for a few minutes before I go to work. I've got a frozen maggot. I've got some lobworms. I've got a bit of brown bait. I'm going to bait up just at the point of the weed bed, nearest weed bed there on the deck and then fish to there and see if I get anything. There are a lot of bream currently moving around the top over the other side of the lake. Um, just over there. So I don't think I'll get them to drag over but I'm just fishing here because I've fished over that side quite a few times recently. So some bubbles just came up there. I'll come back when something interesting happens, hopefully. Maybe a blank, who knows. I have blanked on this lake a couple of times, but I've also had some great nets of fish. So, I will uh, get ready and get fishing. So I'm just going to boil some ground bait in at my chosen swim. That's where we're aiming for. Ground bait that we're using is a green ground bait. Swim stem. So I'm just fishing next to where I put the bait. I'm just going to put it on it. I've got a big piece of lobworm on. And uh, first put in, I had a bite, but I think the lobworm's too big for the fish that are biting. I might have change onto some frozen red maggots I've got in a minute. But we will see. I'm going to have to put this um, phone on a stand because I'm really struggling at the moment to hold it and control it. And Got a fish. So we're not blanking. Um, <laughs> I think it's an eyed. I'll uh, get it back in and uh, I'll be back in with the worm, which is still on my hook and caught in the side of the net. We'll put that one back. Back in over the bait, over the ground bait, and straight into fish. Fishing worm, so we get the ubiquitous perch. Well, I'm not here for long, so I'm quite pleased that I've had success so quickly. Um, two fish, three puttings. Um, if I'm not getting a bite straight away, as I'm not now, I'm starting to think the worms come up. And it has. This time I try the caster, and we've got a fish again. This time it's a decent sized gudgeon. Just had a slight rainstorm, put back in with the worm. Uh, I've just bounced off, but we had a better fish. In again after that bounce off, and another bite, we missed it. And another fish, right. I think I might have to put the phone down and concentrate on landing the fish for a second. Perch. Perch never seemed to amaze me how... Oh. Such a tiny little fish get such a huge piece of worm so, in there. Um, I'm going to have to put some more bait in there. I was quite hopeful with that first eye that we might get into them, but it's just been a series of perch since with that one gudgeon. So uh, I'm going to try a bit of bread and see if that helps. And as I say, put a little bit more ground bait in there. So I've got another ball of ground bait in. Got a little bit of bread on the hook. And I'm hoping I don't catch perch straight away. There's a bite. There's a knock. might have taken it off the hook. Red doesn't stay on that well. Oh, no, I missed it. Put it on still? No, it's gone. 
perfect wee bit. So, a little knock again on the bread. Might have to just set that float a little deeper, set for the uh, worm. And it's taking it again. Mmm. May not be the best one. If you're wondering what all the noise is, it's these little guys, baby mohens, walking on the lilies. Really impressive. Dad just on the way over there. Just in the mice wood. Thanks. Remembering again. A slightly bigger piece of bread and it's actually uh, lifting the bottom of the float up or something's taking it on the way down. Uh, that's a piece of reed, that's what's on it. Well I got excited for no reason there. Hello baby moorhen. Oh, that fish was on and then went. The bread's still on. Surely these aren't perched. Could be gudgeon, of course. I was hoping the eyed would come back. Oh, there's something big moving around the reeds underneath these babies. Just seen some lilies moving. Just on the corner there. Tench, maybe a hawk, not a cow. Lily's just next to it to take a hold. And we can see what it is. Though I suspect if it's a carp, I'll be into those reed beds in seconds. Which has happened many times before. And I might actually, I'm looking at the time, I haven't got long left. Otherwise, I might change my rig, be able to deal with it, and the bait's off. Right, larger piece of bread. Got and it's another good gin. Well, another larger piece of bread. Getting bites, not from the perch. I think it sees good again. I was hoping something would come in a bit bigger. Oh, maybe I've got my wish. And there we go, a little tench. Happy days, I did get something better. That's me finished, I'm gonna to have to go now. I hope you'll uh, like and subscribe. Don't know what's on with that tench's tummy. It's about to spawn, I think. Um, but yes, hope you like and subscribe. Um, I'll be putting this fish back and going home. Um, if you want to join Right in the District Angling Club, membership, there's a membership, one off fee of five pound, and then it's 40 pound for an adult membership for the year. There are discounts and concessions. It's a cracking water and my 40 minute sessions really gone well. Cheers. Okay, so I was going, but I had to try one more piece of bread and got a bigger again tench. Lovely, lovely fish. So there we go. That's the end of today. We'll get this one back and we're done. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.